We work together on Canning Cracking. We travel to Sri Lanka. In the aftermath of Canning Cracking, Shafi and I talked about, you know, like, um, what, what next? What do we do next? And how do we not leave it too long? And of course, COVID interrupted yes. that. But I suggested that it would be wonderful to work with you on this together, yes. Belvoir and Lingalium. Um, but you're going to perform in the show. I think all the years of dancing on stage is probably what I have to bring to, the, to this stage as well. For me, it's about this woman, which I think personifies the mother. Mothers all over the world, but here, she's a mother who has, you know, had a huge family around her, and suddenly everything starts disintegrating. What do you think it will mean for audiences to see this story? We're bringing in classical Indian music and dance and in a traditional format, and then bringing the theatre format that you all are so, you know, deeply structured in. It's something that you probably have never seen in Belvoir, and the Belvoir audience has never seen. One of the confronting things about working on this project is that the stories that, that we're working from are about wars that happen inside these mythological um, stories, but the play is about a war, um, you know, that that is very real very and, real and still recent. Still, yeah, very recent and very recent past, yeah. It's a huge responsibility because it's and it's a war that still has scars, you know. So you're dealing with real people, real real emotions, emotions that are present, not emotions that have gone away with the epics and the myths. Mm. So even though you're bringing that weight of that, you know, structure that is so strong, everything you're dealing with is very real. Mm. Turning these wounds into the shapes and forms of story and of performance. And that gives a kind of closure. That's the hope. That's the hope. <laughs>